All righty. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to Mullet Mad Jack. This is a first person roguelike FPS uh, Hotline Miami 90s OVA developed by Hammer 95 uh, and published by Hammer 95. Uh, I have heard almost nothing about this game other than the fact that it's really cool. Uh, and I really wanted to play it. So let's just jump into it. First thing here, though, there's this unboxing manual. And I want to I want to click this. So welcome to our exclusive 90s unboxing experience. You will open a game box like our ancestors did. Oh, God. These ancient games come in a big fat box, juicy and collectible. Look, you can open the front to see some screenshots because we didn't have them on the Internet yet. This is true. This is very much the, the gaming experience from the 90s. Super fast and pump action gameplay. Drawn enemies that pop up from your screen in amazing definition. With CD-ROM tech, you can have amazing cutscenes like a real OVA anime. Original video anime anime. This box is made of virtual paper and true humans. Please recycle your humans. <laughs> Far into the future, man and internet merge into a new being. A human needs dopamine every 10 seconds or he dies. <laughs> 10 seconds or he dies. It's true. If I'm not if I'm not getting that chemical drip every 10 seconds, I will just instantly die. Everything is ruled by billionaire AI robots. Those who choose their 10 seconds of life to kill bots are called moderators. <laughs> On the back of the box, you can see more about the video game piece of art. Haste makes waste of your enemies. It's the 90s, the 2090s. Your hands are shaking with excitement, but read this. You have only 10 seconds to kill them all. You pick the fastest game ever. Be, be, uh, better be ready for the task. The new multimedia CD-ROM technology allows never before seen anime action experience. Classic anime visuals, the fastest FPS action, the Peace Corps, will help you to kill them all! <laughs> Reject transhumanism. Warning, some people may have seizures triggered by light flashes or patterns like those in video games. Stop playing if you experience altered vision, muscle or eye twitching, loss of awareness or disorientation. Warning, end robots, not humans. <laughs> The traditional big box game, uh, yeah, big box game comes with some crazy goods. Let's explore some more. Sounds like a warning. You are not photo sensible, right? If you are, please stop playing this game now. A good robot hating poster. These games come with the control cards to make life easier. It says WASD, R reload, tab, upgrades, mouse left, mouse R, dash and kick. Okay. Now that's the ice on the cake, the game manual. They make it like an immersive moderator manual. That's exciting. Peace, Peacemaker Vigilante app. Peace Corps robot moderator manual. Welcome, namaste, bienvenido, bemvindo, yokuso. Real world, world alert. This software was made with the love and care of a lot of actual human beings, not robots. Please be nice and support human beings and their families. If you hate robots too, please join our ranks. 2090 sub 96 submissions are now open. This manual is also made by humans. Let's recycle humans. The organization, Peace Corporation, since 2054 are on the lead on the best job in the world, the moderator. What's a moderator? A new opportunity for unemployed people to make money and fight back the damn robots. The moderator program. The moderator is, na is named based on an old tradition of warriors. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very funny way to refer to this. These ancient moderators put down the ban hammer on trolls and robots alike on the old internet. Imagine an army of tin cans with supposed feelings that follow your commands more poorly than a printer. Oh wait, imagine an army of printers. You will want to crush then in no time and for free. But here comes the best part. With our exclusive points program, you can use points for buying new things like weapons or soda. Even the wild dream. Sports shoes. <laughs> so what are you waiting for? It's another round of robot killing. Piecemeal says, do we have some warriors aligned with the toaster clan in chat? Hell yeah. All my toast heads put a pog in chat if you're a member of the toast clan. 
Moderators are the best of the best of this fine art, and you are the best of all the moderators. Join jor our ranks today. The contractor. Subject nickname Mullet Mad Jack. Physical features, mullets, psychological features, <laughs> mad. <laughs> <laughs> I like this a lot. <laughs> 2074. When he was born, a C section took place because of the size of his mullet. 2081. His unemployed parents watched ads all day for work to fake their numbers. Only robots can have real jobs and actually buy products in this new economy. 2090. A sentient printer got into a fight with him over the position of the paper. The printer won. There were several reasons to not like robots, but we don't need reasons to shoot robots in the face anyway. What's his name? Hold on. This looks like it says it's maybe D-O. What, what would be a name that starts with maybe an N? Mm, maybe Nardo, Leonardo, maybe? I guess the name starts over here, not here. Hmm. 20, uh, February 30th, 2070. Add Clicker Jr. 2087 to 29. Stunt driver for influencers 2090 to 91. Football player. Desert Eagle Moderator University 2089 to 92. Moderator Trainee 2093. The old games use manuals to explain a lot of things like who you are in the game and what to care about. She is not so cute like me, right? The Hostage, subject nickname, The Influencer. Physical features, green hair, psychological features, mood swings. Stardom related milestones. 2073, a baby born with a pink star birthmark destined to stardom. 2083, Little Miss Tokyo Champion. 2090, Angry Teenagers Reality TV Contestant. 2091, launch of the debut album Anti-Robot Manifesto. 2092, singer at Global Warming Fest 92. 94, her channel hits 2 billion followers. 2095, currently missing. Like and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell. Previous occupations. 328, she has the same birthday as me. March 28th, 2073. That's my birthday. I'd be... Uh... 73, no. Um, 83 years old. Or 80 years old. Legit heir of African Minds 2073. Oh my god. Little Miss Tokyo Junior 2083 to 85. Reality TVD Celebrity 91. Auto Tune Model Singer 91 to 95. Professional Influencer 93. Some of these games relied entirely on the manual to explain the world where the game takes place. Welcome, moderator. This is a super fast paced adventure. You have a few seconds of life, but don't worry, you will gain more seconds for each robot elimination. The gameplay is straightforward, but you don't need the reflexes of a pro player to win. The key to success is having fun and going with the flow. For casual FPS players, 15 seconds of life, normal mode, 10 seconds of life. Hard mode, veteran FPS players, you will have 10 seconds of life, but your enemies will give you less time. Permadeath, hardcore players, you have 10 seconds of life, enemies will give you less time, and you only live once. Chapter selection, navigate the chapters, endless mode. If you beat the campaign, you get endless mode. Sports shoes are a dream of an entire generation of consumers. Virtual box, 90s old school box experience options. The game, you have 10 seconds to exterminate something. Eliminating robots adds more time to your clock. It's quite simple, really. Band, three seconds, kill an enemy. Headshot, four seconds, headshot an enemy. Kaboom, four seconds, explode an enemy. Trapped, four seconds, kill an, kick an enemy into a trap. Combo bonus can give one second per elimination if you destroy the enemies in less than a second apart of each other. And also how to play them. They're the tutorial of the old days. On screen information. Black bar will pop up with actions. That makes sense. Lifetime remaining displays. That makes sense. All of this doesn't need to be explained. It's crazy the amount of things that you can learn from the manuals. In the old 90s, they expected you to read. Crazy, right? Emergency offline mode. Disconnected from the timer, you are disconnected from the system. The good news, you have no time limit. The bad news, all you have is the percentage of your remaining life. Okay. Controlling the action. It's vital to use dash. Use dash, you can traverse faster in any scenario. Dashing also uses special items and finishes. Dash is a normal dash. Dash kick is to kick enemies into tracks. Traps, dash slide. Slide to shortcuts. By using dash near air, air ducts, you can take very useful shortcuts in the stages. Dash finish. Finishing an enemy. With an item in hand, dash in the direction of an enemy and you will finish them. You will also recover lifetime doing it. 
dash finish. Pick up items on the stage and use them to finish enemies. You can often recover your life by doing finishes. Okay. <clears throat> you can find a lot of mortal weapons in the scenario. They can only be used as finish moves. With an item ready, dash your enemy to form a dash finish to recover 10 seconds. Okay. Look at all the information. Blah, 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 blah. I don't like to read. Don't they have some kind of audio book? Shop upgrades. After beating a level, you can improve your character by choosing an upgrade. Upgrades give you new skills and advantages. Okay. If you upgrade, so this is the roguelike mechanic. This is the, the system. If you die, you lose all your upgrades. You need to climb the Twin Towers of Nakamura Plaza one floor at a time. By beating a floor, you get a new upgrade. Every 10th floor is a chapter. You can beat a boss to get a checkpoint. If you die, you lose all your upgrades and floor progress since your last checkpoint. Hazardous environments. Chapter 2 is acid floors. A classic. Chapter 3, electric floors. It's the future, you know. Chapter 4, bottomless pits. It's a free-for-all. I like that it's spelled like Brad Pitt. Chapter 5, laser traps. It's a free-fall. <laughs> I love the amount of typos. Chapter 6, lava pits. It's even more classic. Chapter 7, darkness. But you have a light. Weapons. You only have one weapon per time. Now we're talking weapons. You can change your weapon based on the options given at the shop at the end of each floor. You will always have the opportunity to change your weapon for another one on each floor. All the weapons have strengths and weaknesses to see which one fits your play style better. All weapons of the shop are provided by the Peace Corps. Our personalized weapons are the best on the app Vigilante Market, all equipped with state-of-the-art tech to deal with rogue robots. The Agile Ones, your starting weapon. Your fire rate is on the speed of your clicks, cowboy. Submachine gun, fire rate is crazy, but the recoil is crazier. High damage ones, lever action, the classic, and you can be double classier with some mods and upgrades. Fire katana can be thrown into enemies. Fastest weapon in your melee attacks can be charged into blazing ones. Rail gun, slow but deadly, of the most powerful shot, but have a cooldown. Special offer, vanquish, Sharfutschugewehr Industries, sniper rifle special. You can rent them for a cheaper price with the Peace Corps special card. We are the best in the business. Know your enemy, the Lazy Robots Gang. Crime organization. An organized crime entity made entirely by robots. How dare they replace their own human criminals? <laughs> can be thrown into enemies. Deadliest melee weapon. Oh, weird. There's a glitch there. Look at that. The text appears twice. They infiltrate abandoned buildings like the former Nakamura Plaza to commit hideous acts. Reports say they harvest human flesh to appear more human-like. Enemies, vice grunts, caution, they hate mullets, hint, it's your favorite punching bag. Shotgunners, they hit hard, hint, it's a good one to spend special items on. Defenders, their shields have more HP than themselves, you can kick their shields first. Here comes the robot scum! Drone class robots, all of the drone class robots can be killed with kicks. They always come in mobs, you can kick them to explode in the other enemies' faces. Arachna drones, they can be also in ceilings and walls, they shoot from long range but also jump you in short range. Drone mines, they are like proximity mines that fly, kill them before getting too close. Hunters, they will pursue you like a dog and they're faster than you, take care of them first. Deadly at close range, zombies, you can kick it while it's jumping. Ghost, it turns invisible, they're gone forever. Attack them fast to gain their precious seconds before they vanish. Wanted, bounty here. Who is this? I'm gonna take out my phone and we're gonna QR this code. What is What does the QR code do? It's loading. It's loading on my phone. So tired of these guys. The phone is still loading. I don't know what this is. Oh. They got rate limited, I think. Because too many people are trying to do it. Esta conta antigu seu limite maximo de solicia satos. I don't know what that means. I think it means I've been, someone has clicked the page too much. Hammer 95 guys, special thanks to our families, blah, blah, blah. Mullet Mad Corp is an episodic anime action game made by humans, distributed in digital stores after a world ending pandemic. This manual is a joke, a fictitious copy of a game if it was in the 90s. Thank you for being a human being. Woof, what a read. I don't actually read anything, but I like the imagery. These ancient games are played on a CD-ROM, some kind of portable physical media. That's the actual game. You're required to put these things inside your computer to install the game. Crazy, right? Some of the games come with some kind of analogic anti-piracy system, but this one is just to give a prize to thank you for your support. Go ahead, try it. What am I doing? Oh, I have to... Oh, is this it? This is the prize? Bingo! Congratulations, you completed the 90s big box experience. You win a prize as our thank you. Congratulations, you gained the easiest prize ever. Thank you for buying this game legally and supporting indie developers. You bought this game legally, right? Anyway, this concludes the 90s big box PC game experience. Hope you enjoyed it. This game already kicks ass. <laughs> All right, let's start the game. 
Nakamura Plaza. I can't switch, so. What does going back do? Nothing. Stato. No timer, easy, normal. We'll do normal. Recommended start. Challenge, the true experience. Suffer as intended by the devs. En enemies killed gives one second. Bosses do double damage, less seconds on stylish kills. That's what we're gonna do for veteran FPS players. The balance challenge that the devs want you to experience, but this game can be hard. It's not about being the fastest, but to dance and flow through the enemies. Let's fucking do it. Let's go. I'm so ready for this. Far into the future, men and internet merged into a new being. Humans need dopamine every 10 seconds or else they die. The world is now ruled by super rich AI robots called Robillionaires. Those who dare to live every 10 seconds of life to kill these robots are called moderators. Sir, initializing our live stream show. Looking for a protagonist. Tracking. Does this give her dopamine? Hmm, he sounds like a strong siren type. Sir, I'm going to call him. Consume, angrier. You enter the Peace Corps Justice app, the number one moderator streaming app. You will enter live stream shortly. Today's prize? These amazing sneakers. Today's mission? To rescue the influencer princess from the robot scum. I am here for the sports shoes. She's got two billion followers, you know. The first moderator to rescue her on live stream wins the prize. We'll triangulate her location. Right now, she's right in front of you. Watch out! <laughs> This looks like Paradise Killer. It's sick. <laughs> the Akira slide. <laughs> this is already great. OVA FPS anime action mullet mad jack. <laughs> This is rad. <laughs> Music's a little loud, but this kicks ass. Knockout. Oh god, it's time. It's time. We gotta move. F always follow yellow doors. Kick to get a life soda. Okay. I'm gonna really quickly just, uh, Turn that down just a little bit. Does that sound still good? Does that still look? Is that still okay? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that's an electric floor. Oh, shit. Am I dead? I'm not. Oh, I killed him. Use mouse two to kick things and enemies. Okay. And it will also dash me. You can kick or shoot machines to get soda. Hell yeah. Mouse two to finish enemies with items. Fully heal yourself. Hey, moderator. It's official. We are now on live stream. Millions are watching you save our princess. We're putting the audience's love into your bloodstream. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell yeah look at the look at twitch chat in there in that corner hell yeah your blood feels the sweet sweet flavor of those likes oh my blood does like these likes you now have 10 seconds of life for every kill the audience will give you more time to live let's go chat you guys are giving me life right now for the audience not killing anything they will let you die after 10 seconds Ready? Go moderate these damn robots! Hell yeah, let's go. Uh, 
Oh. I'm better to go Zaymas. You're not dead. <laughs> oh, hold on. Our princess is near. Tracking. You have 10 floors to reach our princess. Okay. Let's do it. But if you die, you come back to all these floors. You read the terms and services of our app, right? <laughs> Here goes the first floor. This Good is luck. delightful. This is delightful. Benefits. Destroy these damn robots. See you later. I like the voice acting Let's a lot. Kill some billionaires. Oh, hell yeah. Damn straight. Oh god, I'm already doing poorly. That's fine. Okay. 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 All right, we made it. We had floor time. We did it. Spawn barrels. Explosive barrels will spawn into the most convenient places. Foe piercing chance. Chance of bullets piercing enemies. Shotgun. What are we thinking? I like my. I. I don't need. My, I don't need the shotgun. I don't think. I like my revolver. Let's do barrels. That seems reliable. Peace Corp wishes you a good day. Start day. This is requiring a lot of focus. Okay. There is no education like adversity. This is insane. Nut shot bonus. Shoot your enemies in the crotch gives extra bonus chance of ricochets. This seems like it could be good. <clears throat> I might do nut shot just to get the bonus second though. Let's do this. Make a new friend every day. Oh, oops. There we go. Hell yeah. Oh, Dad, I died. We have a special app just for corpses. All right. Uh, Yokai. Loading. What? Where is everyone? It's like actually hard to see things. I'm really bad at first person shooters. Ah. All right. Today's offers tools for total destruction, absolute carnage, and complete law enforcement. Let's do fast slide. Which is you a good day. Turn right. anger into rage. There we 
go. All right, back to floor two. If opportunity doesn't knock, build a door. Rishan says, it looks like you aren't allowed to overcap time above 10 seconds. I guess not. Boost movement speed. Uh, headshots give an extra second. Yep, definitely want that. Billionaires do not care. Okay, so the game isn't actually about killing enemies. Talking pro tag, it's the 90s. Jack can give you some one-liners and life advices. See, that sounds great. But I wanna make sure we get through the level. <laughs> uh, chance of bullets exploding enemies, 3%, eh. Let's go machine gun. <clears throat> All shell, no ghost. Alright, we made it. Opportunity doesn't knock. Build a door. This is hard. Drone kicker. Kicking a drone or a rechner drone gives you an extra second bonus. Fire katana. Ricochet chance. We're going for ricochet. Just spray and pray. That's what I'm built for. go this is really hard to play on a trackball okay oh don't wait until you're a cold corpse spend hot money now a gamer says uh my first time seeing toaster play a fast fps and he's actually really good i'm actually terrible but uh i like boomer shooters a lot more than i like regular shooters so uh yeah see you later I'm also, I'm playing on a trackball right now, and the game kind of plays itself when it comes to, like, movement, because you're just going in a bunch of straight lines, so... Oh god. Oh, okay. Okay. Piecemeal says, don't forget the nut shots. I don't, ha I didn't have them here. Um, but I have the nut shot here, which I will take. <clears throat> Peace Corp wishes you a good day. Time right. to kill robots and drink soda. Okay. 30 seconds. Okay. Okay. Exit mark pinpoint the exit location of each stage. Does that matter? Bigger clips. Absolutely want that. It's better not to be the smartest person in the room. It's better not to be the smartest person in the room. Is that right?
Boink, boink. There we go. Floor eight done. Okay, this is hard. Environmental kills give you an extra second. Shotgun, blast, special boots, boost movement speed. Let's do environmental kills. Persistence is better than talent. There we go. All right, done with floor nine. This next floor will be a boss, I think. Your manliness weakens everything that dares to touch you. I'm gonna be a stinky man. Toxic smell. <laughs> Thank you. Why is it always oh, ten floors? All right. Okay. So time li my time limit is off. <clears throat> so we just have to we have to play good. Here we go. Cyber Beholder. I didn't even notice its name before. That's cool. Oh, okay. Nope. My amount of playtime in Returnal has made this relatively okay. There we go. Yeah, we did it. Row billionaires remaining 3,000 something. That's a lot. That's pretty high inflation. Ah, uh, okay. Save her. Oh, looks like it's too late to save her. Edgy the hound dog. Alan Blinkset is on another floor. <laughs> he is now on the 20th floor. This is all a game, don't you see? Huh. Every video game is about video games now. This is true. <laughs> Chapter complete. Total time about seven minutes. Rank A. Redneck Rampage. Mullet rank. Okay, hey. Nutshots three. Headshot 64. I did okay. I did all right on those. Um, interesting. Oh, shop refresher, add a button on the shop to reroll. Choose a permanent power, okay. Keep your last upgrade into a new life. Make weapon great upgrades of level two available at the shop. What do we think? What do we think is good? Keep your last upgrade into your new life. That could be really beneficial because it would let us steamroll. Hmm. <clears throat> This could make it uh, good for us to like do a one level run, get to floor two and then die so that we can then immediately start with an upgrade on floor one. Either that or level two weapons. Yeah, that those are possible. Um, this is the most beneficial long term, I think. So we'll take that one. Yeah, I like this. Plot armor. Last upgrade keeper. You can keep your last upgrade in your new life. Activates, uh, actives slow motion in your last seconds of life. Interesting. Oh, that's helpful. Plot armor, that's really good. That seems really interesting. Oh, I got a Tamagotchi. My oh my goshi. Hello world. Are you my boss? 